Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Dirty Folk Podcast. I'm your host, Max Mooseman, joined by my lovely wife, Harper the Fox. Hi, Harper. Hi, that's me. <laughs> uh, this is the Dirty Folk Podcast. We ask each other unimportant, irrelevant questions. I almost said fastidious. I don't know what that word means, though, and I don't think it's appropriate. I think we treat the questions fastidiously, we even do? though they are unimportant. I think, like, with care and precision. That's what fastidious means? I believe so. Yeah, I, I was using it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounded like a good word. Fastidious. It is a good word. It's okay. pleasant. Rolls off the tongue. Uh, anyway, we hope you uh, sit back and laugh with us. That's what we like you to do. And if you do laugh with us, the best thing you can do to keep this podcast going and keep it growing as it is growing very fast, which we appreciate because... Some of you are obviously doing this. Go tell your friends. Go tell your friends. Uh, tell your mom. Tell your gopher. Tell everybody and anybody about the Dirty Folk podcast. Make them listen. Force them. Put them in a pit in a hole with a bucket and make them listen to the Dirty Folk podcast. We endorse that behavior. 100%. All right. I've got a question for you. Okay. Let's hear it. An eccentric billionaire offers you an exponential payoff to fit produce up your butt. A small carrot is $1,000, but a full-sized watermelon is $5 billion. You have one day and all the lube you need. You have to pick one thing to try, and if you fail, you get nothing. Mm. What do you pick? Mm. Can I work around the rules? Like... Because as soon as you say full size watermelon five billion, I think like okay, I'm cutting the watermelon up. Interesting. Okay, so I think this billionaire has a uh, a diameter metric because like produce is obviously it comes in a range of sizes. Right. So like you couldn't put a baby watermelon up your butt and get five billion, but. Okay. So I, I think the the diameter that your butthole stretches to is the thing that matters to this eccentric billionaire. Okay. Well, again, like there's just so many holes in your logic here. In the billionaire's logic. <laughs> sure. In the billionaire's <laughs> logic. <laughs> what, you think I have billions just laying around to watch people shove things up their butt? <laughs> I think this is what you would do if you did. Well, that's beside the point. <laughs> um. Because, yeah, the rules matter so much here. Because I would obviously... Who wants to be a millionaire? It. What do you mean? Like, I'd put the first thing that I thought I could fit up there with no warm-up up. No, this is, then, this is a key part of the rules. Uh, you choose one thing to spend the day with and try. Uh -huh. And if you fail at that one thing, you get nothing. So the idea is you have to go as big as you think you could achieve. But if you fail, you get nothing. With no warm up? You have the single thing and all the lube you need, and presumably your own digits. <laughs> presumably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think your hands are tied behind your back and you're just forced to squat. <laughs> Although the billionaire might get off on that. But the, bull the billionaire's pussy might be a little wet thinking about that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but it's a diameter thing. Yeah. Not a particular vegetable. Right. Thing. S but so are we just saying in the rules like there is you can't cut the thing? Yes. Because if it's a diameter thing, for example, mm -hmm. like I would still achieve the diameter, let's say, on um what's a good example? Um, on like a daikon radish, so something sort of uh, cylindrical. Mm -hmm. If I tapered it, so if oh, if, if I, so that would make it easier. Yeah. Hmm. Right. So I'd still get to the diameter, but I, I guess, would have modified mm. the vegetable because this really matters because because so many like. Am I dealing with an honest broker here? Am I dealing with like, is this a devil billionaire? Because like, I could say like, 
well, I'll just take a carrot and they could go find me like some backyard garden carrot that has like a corkscrew in it. Mm. And if I'm not allowed to modify, you know what I mean? Like there's so many things here where like you have to consider the source it's coming from. Is there a layout? Do I get to visually pick a thing? Like, do I get to, to manipulate these things at all? Carve them, fix them up. Your question is very ill-conceived. <laughs> the billionaire's <laughs> question. <laughs> right, because so. another another mitigating factor here is what does it mean to fail? Yeah. Because let's say the, the answer I've been toying with in my own head for myself is a sweet potato, like a pretty big sweet potato. Uh-huh. Um, does it have to be fully inserted into my butt? Or do I have to reach the broadest diameter? I don't know. It's your question. Well, let's try and get into the head of this billionaire. You, It's your question. This is <laughs> If you're going to bring questions, this is what you have to be prepared to answer. You are setting the so rules. I'm, I'm the decider. Okay. Um, all right. You are allowed to modify the vegetable. The diameter matters. Okay. The diameter is what matters. Okay. And because the diameter is what matters, you don't have to fully insert the vegetable. Uh Uh-huh. You can get to maximum diameter and retreat, but it counts as a failure if you don't reach maximum diameter. Okay. And do I get to see the vegetable in question beforehand, or am I rolling the dice on what they'll pick? You get to see it. I get to see it. So there's a, a bunch of what we'll call like average looking vegetables. Like Yes. They are like grocery store ready, pleasantly shaped. Yes. Vegetables. Yeah. Like not, stock photo vegetables. Not backyard garden. Yes. Crazy town vegetables. Okay. So the question is just like, what's the biggest thing I could think I could shove up my ass if I had to? Yeah. For yeah, for an exponential payoff. But tapered matters. So mm-hmm. the biggest thing that that has an on ramp, <laughs> yeah, that I could fit into my asshole if I yeah. had to, yeah, and I had all day to try. Mm-hmm. And it's like it's got some uh, uh, Price is Right rules, mm-hmm. where if you go over in your estimate, mm-hmm. you lose. Yep automatically it doesn't matter if you're close yep you lose if you uh you lose if within the day and you don't do it. it just has to break the seal the the widest part just has to disappear into the rectum yes and that's it yes we call it a win yep and and this Somebody is like for... market this is, is there someone like ready with a marker like a <laughs> sharpie obviously <laughs> these are professionals am i being supervised for the whole 24 hours i assume yes Okay. Does that matter? Like, do you think you'd get some butthole anxiety? Uh, no, not not for this amount of money. Okay. Uh, do I have comforts, toilet, food, things like that? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I'm just being watched the whole time. You're being watched. Am I allowed to bleed? <laughs> you are allowed to bleed. You're allowed to scream. You're allowed to cry. Okay. You don't have to make this sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so you said like a carrot was how much a, a small carrot is a thousand dollars paltry okay so Anyone i need to that. know what's in the middle here because I, I get so you're talking like a uh, a large old school watermelon yeah and and yeah my my vision here the billionaire's vision is that this is an exponential curve so what i've been noodling here is that like so my example of sweet potato yeah that's big, but it's not insane. Yeah. I think that's like 250 grand. Okay. But like if you get up to a butternut squash, that's probably like $3 million. A butternut squash is $3 million. Yes. Okay. Hmm... 
I'll tell you, my butthole gets a little bit nervous just like thinking this question through. (laughs) (laughs) I think... Hmm. My ambitious answer is a spaghetti squash. Really? Yeah, because I like to cook, so I know a lot about these vegetables. (laughs) Okay, walk me through your thinking here, because that sounds impossible to me. Okay, a spaghetti squash is extremely uniform. Butternut squash has uh, sections, so like to get to the widest point of a butternut squash, you have to either go in like really like aggressive, like there's no taper, and there's no like flesh to taper, because you're going to get to like the center pocket where the seeds are really quickly. Um, And it's got like a sort of like, you know, it's got like a dick shaft and balls on a butternut squash is that I, yeah i need to interrupt you and revise because in my head i forgot what a butternut squash looks like and that yeah. it has that sort of dick and then much wider bulb yeah that would be way more than three million that that would probably be like a hundred million okay so yeah i oh. was in, envisioning the breadth of the of the shaft <laughs> when i when i quoted three million right well so that's why spaghetti squash just spaghetti squash doesn't have that spaghetti squash is, is extremely uniform mm-hmm. and then i also find that for most spaghetti squashes the seeds pockets are a little bit deeper so in a very short distance uh from the from whatever side you call the tip mm-hmm. to its widest point you get you get from the from the tip to the widest point in a very short distance, but there's enough flesh there that I could whittle a taper, and it would okay. hold up. And if, you think you could opinion. get to the widest point of a spaghetti squash if you were allowed to bleed, scream, and cry for like a second? If I could bleed, scream, and cry with a bunch of lube, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean that's why I said it's ambitious. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I I I feel like I've seen it that kind of thing done you have yeah we've watched people shove really big things up their assholes people have fit human heads in their assholes what pretty sure i mean i've seen it in fucking ash versus evil dead but that's (laughs) i think there's a little movie magic there i think people have put human heads in their buttholes I I am I talking on a turn here? I'm pretty sure people have. Are you gonna look this up? Where's my phone? It's next to next to your chair. Next to my chair. Oh, there it is. I don't I don't know if my phone browser will let me find this. <laughs> Do you find that my phone browser is a pussy? My computer browser will let me find whatever I want, but my phone browser is much well, more you particular. Use, like DuckDuckGo or something. No, right? not anymore. I went no. back to Safari. You use Safari? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? Download it, Google Chrome like a normal person. It's native on the phone. It's good. Safari is trash. <laughs> Safari not. is garbage person trash. Like no, it's not. I feel about you using Safari the way everyone else feels about me having a Hotmail address. <laughs> Why? It, I don't know how to explain it. It's just garbage. But it's not garbage. It works good. There's a Quora about it. Could a human head fit inside another person's butt? Okay, Quora, tell us. On heavyr.com, there is, uh, you know, free porn videos about human head and asshole. Pornhub has a human head and ass porn videos. Uh, okay. This is on Reddit. They're actually talking about it. The time with the video, I've, I'm pretty sure I rem- is what I'm remembering. Could a human head technically fit into a corpse's asshole one year ago? On our morbid questions. By the way, <laughs> this is the person's paragraph. The first sentence is, "By the way, this is completely non-sexual." <laughs> Just want to make make sure no one's no one's confused. But yeah, say if some insane murderer wanted to say that someone had their head up their ass, could they fit that person's decapitated head up their ass? Decapitated? 
Is that better than not that it being sexual <laughs> in this person's mind? <laughs> like, to mutilate a corpse in this way? I'm not like, talking of sex. I'm talking about mutilating a corpse and shoving it up someone's asshole. For like a weird joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming that, that it is relatively impossible and I don't want to be proven wrong, meaning don't reply with instances in which a person put someone's head in their ass and survived in real life. What is this person's whole deal yeah why wouldn't that be relevant that that's the whole point ah it's one of these reddit things that when you click it i'm not getting the comment that i'm seeing does that make sense like no. there's a comment in the in the google preview mm -hmm. and then i don't get to see that comment does trash safari have a find in this page feature does what? Does Trash Safari have a find in this page feature? <laughs> On the phone? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. Maybe. Well, it seems at least it like show. human Someone head... Here claims eight inches. An adult's asshole stretches up to eight inches. In some and nine in exceptions, which could fit a grown raccoon fully. Oh. <sighs> That's what, that's what they said. Uh, oh, here we go. I saw a video years ago where a bald man actually managed to get his head into a vagina. Oh, it was a vagina. Okay, yeah, I think we might have watched that together. How do you forget something like that, Harper? And it's, someone says it was fake. And assholes stretch a lot further than vaginas, even though relatively less stretchy. That, that doesn't sound right. No, it doesn't. Yeah. People say that video is fake. Hmm. I, I guess I didn't examine it that closely. Maybe it's one of those magic tricks where, like, it's hard to look at, so you don't look for details. Yeah. Um, Eight inches, though. Because, it, yeah... It, I don't know if I, in the moment, if I'd have the balls to go for the spaghetti squash, but I think I could get the spaghetti squash. Mm -hmm. I think sweet potato is a little bit. Uh... I feel confident about sweet potato. Yeah, it's a pussy move. <laughs> it's, a, it's a real bitch. Oh, you have to choose something you know you could do. Otherwise, it's all a waste. <sighs> it's a real, it's just a real bitch decision. What, 250 grand? Yeah, could no. secure a nice home for our family. No. Just shove a sweet potato up my ass. Yeah, it's easy, though. What do you need, two hours? You're leaving a lot on the table. I I agree. I, I feel like there's that is my like sure thing answer. Eggplant's the size you want, but... But it's so soft, you couldn't really taper that's it. That's the trouble. Mm-hmm. And I think it would fall apart mm -hmm. over time, right? And you don't get a second eggplant. If you disintegrate the vegetable... If you disintegrate the vegetable past the point where uh, where the diameter is compromised, you've failed. You've failed. Right. So you need a tuber mm. or a squash. Mm -hmm. Right? Like you need something with... So you could choose like a freakishly large potato. Well, if this is the kind of option, we said it's normal vegetables on the table. Right. So, um, yeah. What are some good gourds? Spaghetti squash, obviously. Butternut squash, obviously. Um, yeah, yeah, I mean, you don't want just any old gourd, though. They got bumps and lumps and barnacles, and that's no good. True, but if you can sort of shave off the outside. Yeah. So spaghetti squash is the ambitious one. There's not really a lot of in-between sides vegetables. No, between a that's... sweet potato and a spaghetti squash mm -hmm. that you'd want to even give it a go with. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, because something I'm considering too is like like with like an acorn squash or something, you can get a big diameter, but there's almost no depth. And I feel right. like that's important for the stretching process. You need something that's like a sort of like a mandrel in ring sizing. Yeah, you need an on ramp. Yeah, you need a long on ramp. So, like having a chode vegetable yeah. isn't going to work. No, you're not going to have any success with a chode vegetable. Yeah, I'm going. I'm. How much do I get for spaghetti squash? For spaghetti squash, I I think 
dude i i think you are in the many millions territory i think that's probably 50 million 50 uh versus three for the potato uh no the the um three was like Th- three was my fuck up for the the initial diameter of a butternut squash. Oh, 250,000 for the potato. Yeah. I'm going spaghetti squash. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're going to bring that uh, fuck you rage to the party. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to bring some rage to, to have a success. I am reconsidering my answer because like I'm positive I could do a sweet potato but there's such a huge gulf for the for the spaghetti squash and like like i have gone through the process of childbirth now so i know like the recovery would be intense there would be screaming and crying but like if i know it's physically possible for a human to do yeah like you just do it yeah and again it's like so fast Mm -hmm. like it's not gonna go that deep because it's not that long of an on-ramp it's Mm -hmm. so fast Mm mm-hmm just injure myself. Do it. Yeah. The surgery is not going to cost $50 million. Mm-hmm. Like, so I have to go to the hospital. <laughs> for sure. Uh-huh. I'm getting sent to the hospital. Do you think maybe a way to do it would be like, like, let's say this, this billionaire is willing to give you props. So you can like suspend yourself with a harness above the vegetable. Uh-huh. And like lube it up real good and just three, two, one drop from a height. <laughs> I wouldn't do that until the 24th hour. <laughs> Just like make sure it's going to happen. That's like a last ditch. Yeah. How do you, how do you go about working this into, uh, into your asshole? So you taper it. I taper it. I, I whittle. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you take a leisurely first hour just sitting in a rocker on a front porch, just whittling your squash? <laughs> it doesn't take an hour. <laughs> to, to whittle it appropriately would probably take uh, a half an hour. Okay. Um, then I start, uh, putting lube on the vegetable Mm -hmm. and I, uh, also start, uh, lubing my butt, like just filling my butt with lube. Mm Mm-hmm. Stretching the the butthole. Yeah. So next is like fingers. Making your butthole comfortable. Yep. So it's all fingers and pulling and stretching uh before the vegetable gets in there Mm -hmm. and then i would say like then it's a matter of like like i guess it's a little tricky like do i have stuff to like like secure the squash or is it just like luby rolling around on the ground yeah it does radically change the uh the setup if you're allowed to have tools and props right because he would like to use gravity. So I guess I'd start sort of just like on my back bent over, assuming I have nothing. Mm-hmm. And the goal would be to start shoving it in with just my hands. Mm-hmm. Sort of like lady style, mm-hmm. missionary lady style. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like that would be too slippery. But Well, you just got you to get a start. You got to get the point mm-hmm. in there so then you can rock up to hands and knees because if you can whittle it as long as you keep the maximum diameter intact you could like cut off the bottom of the spaghetti squash and give yourself a nice flat base oh that's true then i would just try to sit on it yeah and that's it you just bounce it bounce it bounce and try not to go backwards Mm -hmm. like at some point like your legs would fall asleep so if it's like that hard you know you gotta like back off and take tries Mm -hmm. and then at some point i think like you know, I might surprise myself. It might be easier than I think. Mm-hmm. And if it starts seeming like it's going to be harder than I think, then at some point you just got to like remember the mission. Mm-hmm. Remember what you're playing for. Yep. And you just got to like trust that gravity will take care of it. And you just got to drop. Just jump. <laughs> I don't think jump because you might miss. I think you settle uh, your butt over yeah. it. You have enough lube in there. Sort of pick your legs up. Yeah, I'm a 200 pound man. Yeah, just cannonball onto it. <laughs> just let it happen. <laughs> it's all mental. Mm-hmm. And then I think you know that's that's easy. And then you just go to the hospital. 
Mm -hmm. We'll stitch you up. Stitch you up. Probably in bed for a couple months. Hook you up to a bag. I guess, like, worst case is, like, you know, it would be regrettable if I was, like, uh, if I had, like, a stoma from then on. Mm Mm-hmm. That'd be regrettable if I had to shit out my belly. Mm Mm-hmm. Which I guess is like a risk you're taking. Yeah. And that's why I wouldn't go for like the the aggressive one right away. You try to ease it in. I take as much time as I had to try to ease it in. Mm-hmm. Like, and it wouldn't be until either like we're at the end of the 24 hours or like my body's feeling it. My legs are asleep, mm-hmm. things like that. Like, but otherwise, you know, yeah, you take all the way up to the end to try to ease it in. And at the are- very end, you you go full full risk. Uh-huh. And bodily harm. What if you have access to recreational drugs? Wh- which ones do you think would help you? We're almost out of time. You keep. Oh. Oh my God, we are. Yeah. We're, We're going deep with time. this question, huh? We're going deep with this question. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, a painkiller would make it easier for sure. Mm-hmm. And if I had access to them in this situation, I'd take them. I feel like being lightly drunk would make it. Mm, would make it easier no. too fucking percocets heroin something in that department hmm. all right that's what you want spaghetti squash, spaghetti I've, squash. I've, I've modified my answer i would go for the smaller side of spaghetti squash so i'd be targeting like like a 10 million dollar spaghetti squash pussy <laughs> fuck you you're a pussy Fuck you. All right, everybody. Sign up for the email list at dirtyfolk.com. That's how you can stay in touch with us and hear about all our episodes. Sometimes there's bonus episodes over there. Sometimes there's bonus content. Sometimes we just say nice little hellos to you through the email list. And you can comment on episodes over there. And we actually read those, unlike other places. Uh, Please rate the podcast. Review the podcast. Five stars. Five stars. Five stars. And thank you to you. For listening please 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 like we said before the best thing you can do to help the show and make sure we can keep doing this for a long long time and we all keep laughing together is to tell your friends share it online tell your cab driver your uber driver your lyft driver tell your bartender tell your priest anybody tell them tell your dog tell your cat tell your newt all of them all of them I'm Max Boosman. I'm Harper the Fox. See you next time. See ya.